morning. I'm just heading out to my various class. It is New Year's Eve and I'm taking two classes today because I didn't get to really go at all this last week because I had to work and like they didn't have any like later classes for some reason. So I just decided to do two times today and then I had to work yesterday so I didn't get to go yesterday. So I'm trying to make up for like the days that I missed out. So I'm doing twice today. And then on Tuesday, they're doing like a New Year's specials where it's like, it's two class credits. Um, and it's 90 minutes long. So I'm doing that class as well as the class before that. So I feel really bad. Like I've eaten really terribly the last few days. And then I haven't been able to go to Barry's because of the class times and stuff and then working. So today I'm going to make up for it. And then Tuesday I'll make up for it because I want to take like one day break because tomorrow is New Year's Day. And I feel like I should spend that day with my fiance. I did consider going like an early class. But depending on how I feel about this class, I might do like a super early class tomorrow. Um, on New Year's Day and then I'll see how I feel um, and then do the two classes Tuesday. So I'm trying to like make up for, you know, the the bad eating I've been doing, the missing classes because of the schedule that they were putting out didn't align with mine. So that kind of sucks. But today we're going to do two classes and I'll get through it. I told my coworker if he wants to go to that 90 minute class, like he can come with me. So I'm going to take him next week. Hopefully I don't kill him. But um, we booked it yesterday because I was working with him yesterday and I was like, do you want to go again? Did you like it? So he said he will so I'm like excited that he's gonna come because He was like telling me it was so funny He was like telling me that like he does not do cardio and stuff and I was like Do you want to do the double floor instead so you don't have to run? He's like, no, I gotta force myself to run. I'm like, okay <laughs> So please don't die because it's a 90 minute class. So hopefully he doesn't die because I need him at work um, But anyway and then on Wednesday, I have to take my car in to get my windshield replaced because there's rock chips everywhere. And if you guys live in the Bay Area, you guys know how terrible the roads are. They're so bad. It's like you go out there like and even like in traffic, you could be sitting there and you get a rock chip, you know, like it's so bad. So I have like so many rock chips and then one of them decided to spread. So the reason why I haven't taken my windshield in because I've wanted to take it in for a long time, but it has tint and you know, my fiance paid for that for me and he paid the tint for my whole car and I felt so bad like to take it in. It was just like, I feel like it was like wasting his money, you know, but now that it's one spread, I'll show you guys once I park, but now that one has spread, I just feel like it just needs to get replaced and um, I'll just ask him again to take it to the place that he took it to the first time to get it fixed. Oh, here I'll show you guys. All right, so here is, oh, God, the lighting is like glaring. There's the lovely crack that spread. I came out of work yesterday and I saw that and I was like, what the hell? Then I have like another one somewhere like next to this one. So it's just time to replace it. And the other day I was driving and something hit my car right here. Like, I don't know what that is, but it is time. It is time to just replace it and get it over with and get a new windshield and just have to get new tint. The tint on my car is really dark and I don't remember like what percentage it was. So hopefully I'll find the paperwork. It should be somewhere. It's not in my car because I looked through my entire car yesterday trying to find the paperwork and I couldn't find it. So uh, hopefully I could get that fixed. But anyway, let's go get, go into Barry's. All right guys, so I already checked into Barry's. I'm gonna head to my class and stretch and everything. I'll see you guys when I'm out of the second class. Hey guys, so I got ready um, and then now I am sitting in the car. I just parked my car a little closer to the restaurant just because I didn't feel like walking all the way back over to where Barry's is. And then I got the Skinny PB Vanilla. I was debating whether or not if I wanted to get something to drink since I am going to eat. But just in case I don't get enough protein today, I was like maybe I should just drink one just for, you know, extra. But I think I'm just going to hang out my car for a little bit and rest because I took two Barry's classes so I'm a little tired. Um, but after that, we'll go to the restaurant and I'll see you guys there. Bye right, guys, we decorated it for New Year's. How cute. Like three things on here that I want to try. Looks so good. They have pan and Oreo waffles, horchata, guava, French toast. 
that looks so good. But it's like, I want something savory, but I want something sweet at the same time. So I might have to do like two things to like balance it all out. The curry toast sounds good. The fries sounds good. And then like one of these sound good too, but I feel like that's just so much food. So I was looking at this shoe online and I sent it to my best friend. I was like, what do you think? And she was like, no, it's giving kids. And I was like, <laughs> I literally cackled. I was like, okay. But I kind of thought it was cute. It's like navy. I don't have any navy shoes. But yeah, she said it looks like kids. So she was like, definitely not. I think they have a white pair. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this one's like chunky. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't see the espadrilles that I saw online. I need to get an actual like coat soon. I don't really have like a super nice one, but that's actually really pretty. So let's see how crop top, that'll be $500. Oh yeah, this is like my favorite. It's my favorite area of this store. It's so pretty. So there's an espresso pop-up. He just told me that they're not here for very long, but I'm hoping that they do stay because we don't have an espresso store on this side of the Bay Area. They only have it in Palo Alto. And sometimes, like if I'm not going to Berries, I don't really get a chance to go over there. So cute. I really wanted this cup right here, this size, because I broke my other cups. Like on accident, I dropped both of them. Um, but he said that they were sold out. So that's great for me. Oh, all set? Okay. Okay. Hey guys, sorry, I left my camera in the car. I totally forgot it because I put it in the Nespresso bag that I have here. So I ended up getting um, the three sets of Nespresso's. This one is, where's the sign? Over oh, right here. This one's rich chocolate. And I got sweet vanilla, I think. Oh no, this is a golden caramel. And the last one is the sweet vanilla because they don't sell like the other ones that you would normally get. It's like a gift store, so they only sold them in like these packs and I found that these three would probably be something that I would drink, so I got those. So it's a little, little dirty. Then I just got out of Daiso and I grabbed a few things from there. I grabbed some um, little bags, these Ziploc bags. I love using these for when I like pack my makeup or something, I like to put my makeup brushes like facing down in these so they stay clean. Oh, and then I also got this Sanrio um, little, what is it called, the dispenser thing for like wipes um, because the one that I have on my uh, makeup wipes is not like secured anymore. I think like the glue got like messed up from me like opening it. I think I opened it too hard and it like detached. So I thought like I would just use this instead. And I also got a drink, I got this one. This is like a mango, like little soda. And then I also got some chia. This is like a Bill Jones chia. It has coconut water, rabutan, longan, lychee, um, bread tapioca, and other jellies in here, and jackfruit, so. So yeah, got that. I forgot to tell them less ice because I don't like it when it has too much ice because I feel like it waters down the coconut water. Mm. Really good. Um, that's pretty much it. I really wanted to find some like plastic boxes, but they didn't have any. So I'm probably going to have to buy from Amazon. I've been trying to avoid buying it from Amazon just in case it doesn't fit. I did get measurements and stuff, but you know, I'm just like worried about it because I need eight boxes for the shelves and I don't know if they're going to fit, but I might have to just go on Amazon now because I need it to replace the ones that we have. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, I'm just driving to work right now. Um, I have to work my weekend rotation because my turn. I'm sorry I haven't updated you guys um, since I dropped my car off to get my windshield fixed. There was like an issue with my windshield being fixed. Like they didn't get the calibration done like with the camera and sensors like in my windshield and stuff or whatever because I have to get like a special windshield since it like senses, I don't know, something, I don't know. But basically 
basically it wasn't sensing the things that it needed to sense and um, I had to bring it back but I had work the other day so I couldn't take it in like right after so I brought it back yesterday and they finally fixed it Callie and Snow went and got their rabies shot so and then also like something happened the other day like I just found out some some news, a couple of different news um, in regards to me and like family members and stuff. So I haven't been in like the best like mood and I definitely wanna talk about like what I'm going through eventually. I just think right now because it's so new and I'm trying to like get appointments done and stuff and things planned out before I like talk to you guys about it. Um, but it's just been like really hard the last few days. I've been just, trying my best to think positive and not overthink things and I do that a lot I overthink a lot of stuff oh my god I'm gonna start crying so I can't have myself crying before I head into work and have to help patients but it's been um, a very emotional last few days so I'm sorry I didn't get to update you guys um, but today after work I have to do grocery shopping and stuff so we'll go do that together I'm sorry that I like there's like gap between like the time when I took my car to get fixed to now it wasn't intentional it was just like with things that were coming up I I just couldn't handle like be on camera but oh and I also want to show you guys my purse real quick I titled Twilly I just got a new Twilly and put it on my purse I'll show you guys my Twilly and a little close-up view in a minute once I park my car I'm basically to work now but I'll talk to you guys real soon all right guys here's a Twilly up close isn't it so pretty it has like a lot of red in it and there's like little carriages in there which I really liked because it kind of reminded me of the museum that we went to in LA with all the um, cars and stuff because they had like these old school carriages as well because it showed like the evolution of a modern car like how it went from this to like now what we have. I like that there's a pattern on each side just in case like if you want to switch it up or change it up but I put it on my Alma BB because I just thought like it would look cute with a little pop of red on the black bag so what do you guys think do you guys like it I love it like I've been using my Alma more now because of this and before I like never really used my Alma because like I think I just cherish it so much because it was the first bag my fiance got me when we were dating and now I just feel like it just looks more special I don't know what do you guys think so pretty but anyways, guys, I'm going to go in and start work. I'll see you guys when I get off. Bye. season's over. 